guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is Mel and I just graduated finally okay after eight years eight long years because originally I wanted to like vlog my graduation but it was virtual so I just kind of sat there at my computer it wasn't really all that celebratory and big so just some background I've been in school pretty much my entire life and um yeah, obviously, you know, you start kindergarten at around five here in the U.S. So, yeah, and I'm 26 now, and I finally <laughs> graduated college. I will have, to help y'all out, I will have timestamps, and I'll try to break this video up into sections for you so you can, like, you know, pick kind of what you would be most interested in hearing about. So the school I went to was the University of Colorado at Boulder. Um, I got a full ride scholarship there um, that covered everything for my first four years and they also provided housing so everyone who got that scholarship lived in, in the scholar's house. Um, and so I was super grateful for that. It was crazy. I went into college having all of these dreams and expectations and it was I was so optimistic and it was great <laughs> and I was very grateful and I still am so yeah so <laughs> for those of you who don't know the reputation of CU Boulder it's known as like the party school right and so everyone everyone um, around me was who knew me was afraid that you know I would get involved in that and stuff like that but my mom was like Nah, she's not into that kind of stuff, and she was right. It is definitely a party school, and I don't know how people there, like, pass their classes and graduate with the things that they do, the way, like, how, like, just their lifestyle, because I lived on the hill, okay? The hill. And for those of you who don't know what the hill is, it's, uh, it's like, well, there's, kind of like different sections of it. There's like the shopping slash restaurant eating out kind of section and then there's the other part of it that's all frat houses and sorority houses and all that. And for me, this was the worst place to be, okay? I mean, it was great because the scholar house that I was a part of, it was literally right across the street from campus. So to go to class, I just had to walk across the street and I was on campus and it was great. Um, but <sighs> I just, I honestly hated living there. I did. Like, I just... Yeah, I, I struggled a lot because, you know, when... When your roommate comes home at like 2 or 3 in the morning, drunk as heck with a guy, you don't want to deal with that. And I know that's like a normal thing for people in college, like that's part of the college experience. But I was not there for that, okay? Like, the, especially because this is a scholarship house. This is a scholar house, right? Like, how is that okay? <laughs> yeah, so I, I struggled a lot. Um, my last year there was better because I was with, um, we're, um, we're actually still friends now, but my last roommate in that house was the best one I'd had out of all of them because she actually respected me and the space and also she um, wasn't even there half the time. <laughs> Socially and in terms of my living situation it wasn't that great and also my well my first semester there actually I had to live in the engineering dorms which is great um, because you were around engineers the whole time you were living with engineers which I really liked, but, or I'm sorry, engineering students, um, but, y'all, I hated this so much. I hate that you're forced to socialize, okay? Like, you're forced to try to make friends, like, and it's partially my fault that I didn't enjoy my time there as much as I probably could have, and I walked away from college having only one maybe like two ish friends that I've met you know there in college so yeah I it's it, yeah it's partially my fault because I went in with the mindset I am here to learn I am here to get a degree I am not here to make friends that was my mindset but the way it works is like you have to make friends like you have to socialize 
to make it and they require certain events okay like when you first move in you're required to go to all of these like events and meetings and stuff that are meant to like familiarize you with you know your fellow students and your RA and stuff like that I freaking hated it I um I hated it so much I was like dying on the inside cringing all the time I stayed in my room the majority time like the pretty much the entire time I was in college well that I lived on campus or you know in the scholars in the scholar house I did my best to stay away from people and even when I went out I would try to find places where I could like be alone I mean I would hang out outside obviously also another thing too is this kind of goes into ties in with academics but um so you know it's good to be a part of things like groups and organizations add to your extracurricular activities stuff like that right <laughs> I tried. You can't tell me that I did not try because I did. I tried to be a part of the of SWE, the Society of uh, we, Women Engineers. Um, I tried to get involved with the Bold Center, which I don't remember what it stands for, but it's like an engineering thing. I um, tried to. Get, I did get involved with Engineers Without Borders, but then I kind of dropped out of that because um, I realized that. It wasn't the path that I wanted to take in terms of what I wanted to do um, when I graduated, after I graduated. So that's more of a like a broad type of thing. So I also tried to get involved in, um, what is it, NS NSB, National Society of Black Engineers, something like that. I went to one of their meetings and it was, we just like sat there and just hung out and I didn't know anybody. So I was like, okay, I'm never coming here again. <laughs> And um, when I tried to, I also tried to be, a, I probably tried to be a part of so many groups, but I was always met, I, and I don't know if it was just because, I don't know, like in my head I'm like, do you have to be extroverted to make friends in college? Because, like, I don't know, it's like I was treated like I was the weirdest person on the planet, and like, like I was dumb or something and I'm like what you think I'm dumb because I don't like to talk <laughs> like because I'm shy or what 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 is wrong with me what's wrong with you why can't this work that that was me the whole time so I did try to get involved in things um but at the end of the day I didn't work out so academically oh boy I learned a lot okay so up until this point I I, I will, so I'm that student that's the teacher's pet, okay? Every single teacher I've ever had with the exception of one teacher um, up until this point <laughs> uh, loved me and I loved them. I, I just, I love school and the idea of learning and all of it, okay? So I um, got straight A's my whole life up until this point, okay? And um, it's just because I just easily understood things. I never really had to study um, or anything like that. <laughs> And um, I could easily just work out papers easily. I mean, you know, you got to put work into writing essays and stuff like that, which is fine. But I never really, like, struggled with it. Y'all, I got to college, okay? I, like, I knew academically engineering was hard. But I think because I never learned how to learn and never learned how to study and ask for help, I struggled so hard. And... It just, it was not good, you guys. Like, I struggled with my identity. It was just, it was a hot mess. Like, I was like, who even am I? Because I got my first B, which I know doesn't sound like that big of a deal. My first D, my first C, my first F. I failed classes. And it was just, it was bad. So, and I just, and I struggled so hard with asking for help. Because in my head, I'm like... I should be good enough, right? I shouldn't have to ask for help. If I have to ask for help, then I shouldn't even be here. That was my mindset, which is obviously wrong and toxic and all that, which I know now. But at the time, okay, like, it was a struggle. I was, ugh, it was terrible, um, which is also part of the reason why it's taken me so long <laughs> to graduate because, um, you know, I started out, you know, taking, going to classes 
or taking like a full-time class load, right? There was one semester where I took 18 credits, 18 engineering credits, okay, I almost died. <laughs> I did die. I think I failed maybe one or two classes. Also, no one told me that you could drop a class. I didn't know about this. Y'all, do you guys understand? Like, I could have saved my GPA if I'd known that you could drop a class, okay? No one told me that. I didn't know that until maybe like my senior year or something, or maybe the year after. Favorite and worst, or favorite and least favorite classes. Okay, it's funny because the majority of my favorite classes weren't even engineering classes, <laughs> with the exception of maybe like one or two, but, um, and the professors there <laughs> are funny. Depending on who you get, like, they're just, they're entertaining. You also don't get, because the classes are so big, you don't get, well, I didn't get the relationship with my teacher that I had always had with my teachers in the past, right? So it's like you're just drowned in like everyone else because you know, you're in an environment where everyone wants to learn, which is great, I guess, but you don't get one-on-one -on -one time with your professor. Um, or at least it's very, very difficult to get that. I noticed, um, I also didn't really go after it as much as I probably should have for reasons that I've mentioned before, but yeah, and I, I, I miss that. My favorite classes that I remember anyways, I'd have to like look, pull up my transcript, but um, the, what was it? The Archaeology of Death, that was a beautiful class, but ugh, I would have done better if it weren't for the group project, but whatever. Um, that's another thing too. You're forced to do group projects. Like, I, I hate that so much. Like, I understand that we need to learn collaboration, for the future, but can't you make it like optional? <laughs> Especially for those of us who freaking hate it. Like, I mean, for my last class, the very last class that I took, which was senior design, I understand that you have to be in a group for that um, because it's simulating real, real world, um, like engineering firm teamwork type stuff. So I understand that. But like or like before that, like for a freaking math class, why we got to do a group project? It's a math class. Like Okay, so archaeology of death. Um all of my German classes, German fairy tales. Um I learned a lot in that one. What else? Oh, my vampire class. I took a class all about vampires. You guys know that from my uh, videos. Um, freaking love that class. What else? I think it's it was called Humanities for Engineers, but I loved that class um, because it was kind of like philosophy. It was more of like a discussion type of class where you had to had to talk. And at first, I hated it, but once I got over my fear and started, you know, sharing my thoughts and stuff, it was really cool because you could have some really great conversations. And that was, that was the one where I made that painting that you guys remember. I'll put it up somewhere. Um, but that's the class that I made that painting in. It was just, I really liked that class. It was great. I liked having the kind of deep discussions that we had, you know, so. The engineering classes that I liked were, I liked timber. It's funny because that, <laughs> that's like a senior level class. It was the class I took this last semester. And I loved it because it was so simple. I'm like, how is timber this simple? Like, it just made so much more sense than concrete or steel or masonry. Masonry was harder than I thought it would be. But timber is so easy. And the code is so easy to understand. Like, why can't the rest be like this? <laughs> why? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, least favorite classes. <laughs> anything that had a group project although um i did enjoy the group project that i had to do my freshman year because we made something really cool anyways and we won the competition anyways <laughs> um pretty much everything else well i don't know because i mean you know they're like okay um 
I hated thermodynamics. Even though I got a B, I only got a B because I went to office hours and she basically like gave us the answers for things. I mean, the way she explained it made, made everything make sense, but I absolutely hated uh, fluid mechanics and heat transfer. Hated it with every fiber of my being. Oh, circuits. I hated circuits too. Didn't want to learn about that. I don't care about that. Like, oh, why do I have to know this? <laughs> hated it. That's pretty much it. Honestly, it's kind of like all a blur. Like I remember things here and there, but for the most part, my college experience is like, is very much a blur. I just remember suffering, <laughs> which sounds so dramatic, but it's like, like I found, like I knew myself kind of going in and like found myself very much, especially in terms of, you know, music and style. And then fast forward a few years and I lost myself again. And now I'm trying to find myself again. So yeah. Oh my gosh, campus culture. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I mean, everyone's different, right? But when you look, like if you were to just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, well, you know everyone's different, right? Because every person is different. They have, you know, a soul and their own experiences, their own upbringing, stuff like that. But at the same time, like, it seemed to me like everyone was the same. <laughs> Like everyone looked the same, everyone dressed the same, almost, of course, this is a generalization. Um, the students who I noticed who were the most different, well also, it's so funny because it varied by which section of campus you were on. Yeah, that's another thing too is, like it kind of sucks um, because it's like, I don't like how much I have to rely on people and social skills to do well to like for extracurricular activities to make your resume look good and all that like it I mean makes sense but it also sucks so yeah yeah that's basically my college experience um if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me um I probably should have done that before I filmed this but whatever um yeah so looking forward to whatever's next <laughs> um yeah anyways you guys are great thank you so much for being with me even like those of you who are here from before i deleted my old channel um thank you for still you know being here you guys saw what it was like like before and yeah anyways so you guys are great. Thank you for everything, um, for your support and encouragement <laughs> whenever I would like act like it was the end of the world. Yeah, thank you guys. You're amazing. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Who was an engineering student and who was like an art? Was that a gunshot? Hey, so editing Mel here. <laughs> I just realized that I didn't talk at all about my uh, college experience in terms of like COVID. Um, but honestly, it wasn't really that like it sucked, but also it wasn't that big of a deal. Like I enjoyed it. I had more flexibility. Um, so yeah, and I was almost never late to class except for maybe like once or twice. So it wasn't that bad for me. I enjoyed it probably maybe just a little than in person but I do miss in person uh, classes so there's that <laughs> yeah just wanted to throw that in there sorry I forgot to mention that <laughs>